Welcome to this Manage Back tutorial for parents at ISW. My name is Michael Hindmarsh and I am an Integrated Humanities teacher and Manage Back coordinator here. Today I just want to walk you through the main features of Manage Back to help you try to understand how to navigate it and what some of the different uh, features mean so that you can fully understand what your child is going through and fully understand and support them in any future tasks that they're doing or have a look at some of the things that they've done previously. So to start with, if you've got more than one child at the school, then you've got this little drop down box here. And there you can see I've got two children at the school. I've got Bob Fruit Loop, who's a test student that we use, and Laura, who has kindly volunteered and allowed me to use her account today. One thing I will say is if you don't have a parent login yet, if you're new to the school, just contact the office and they will happily help you get a parent login. So this is the landing page when you first log in to, to manage back at ISW. Firstly, you see that you've got the this calendar telling me that it's 11th of February, nothing due on the 11th of February, but if I click on this, it'll take me to the full calendar and you'll see every, all the tasks that Laura has coming up. And also we could just scroll back and have a look at everything that she has done in the past as well. I'm gonna come back there in a bit and talk about the calendar. I'll just talk about this landing page a little bit more. Over here, you can see we've got the mentor's contact details and underneath we have these buttons which are shortcut buttons to some of the key areas that or key important features of Manage Back, such as portfolio, the student profile, reports, any discipline, behavioral notes, discussions, which we don't, don't tend to use, sometimes we use them, classes, all the classes that your child is in, IB a parents association, and guides and handbook. And I'm going to talk about most of those things in this tutorial today. So as you keep scrolling down, you'll notice that you can see all of the different classes that Laura is in. And if you click on any one of them, say let's click on integrated science, it'll take you directly to integrated science and you can also see the topic or the, the unit that they're currently working on. Additionally, you can see the most recent task that, that Laura's um, had due or that is coming up. And I'll talk a little bit more and navigate a little bit more with you through some of those um, subjects in a minute. But what I will say is I tend not to use this landing page too much. I tend to go over to this sidebar here and I will click on the three horizontal lines or hover over those. And if you click them, then it will fix that sidebar there. Now I tend to operate mostly from this area here called the dashboard. And I do that because it just is sort of a one-stop shop for everything you need. So as you can see, I've clicked on the dashboard and I've got a two week view on what's coming up for Laura. Um, I can click on my full calendar and I can see uh, more of what's going to come up. I might just do that now and just talk briefly about the calendar because I think this is one of the um, best features of Manage Back. So the first thing you're going to notice when you look at the calendar view is how pretty it is. And that's because we've color coded each subject. I'm just going to swipe across here and we can have a look at how we've color coded all the different subjects. So Dutch has very appropriately orange um, and French has blue. But the, th the other thing you're going to notice is how each subject has a darker shade and a lighter shade. Now the darker shade will signify a summative task, which is one that we will grade or give an achievement level to and that will appear on the report, whereas a formative are tasks that are preparing the students for the summative. So you can see that quite clearly in the calendar view. The other thing you can do is you can hover over the little eye for information and you can see more details about the task. Um, you can also click on the task itself and you can see what your child submitted. You can see whether it's been completed. If it's a summative task, there'll be a grade there. We can have a quick look at one of the summatives, I'll scroll back to 
this one we did about market failure in economics or in integrated humanities. And you can see clearly here there's a, a achievement level and if you hover over the achievement level you can see more information about the criteria that was assessed. Often as well there's a comment just under here. Um, there isn't on this one because I handed back the comment on a piece of paper to the students. The other interesting thing is you can look at what your child submitted. In this case, Laura submitted a PowerPoint and because it was a speech and a script for the PowerPoint. If you hover, hover over the little eye, you can even see what the task was. You can click on the PDF and read about what your child had to do in order to complete the task. Okay, so that's pretty much the calendar view. If I click back on dashboard and I scroll down, I can see the tasks that she has coming up pretty soon. I can, I can then see once again all of the subjects that she has. Now, next to each subject, we've got a little box here called units, then tasks, and then messages. If I click on units, um, I can see what the current unit is that my child is actually studying right now and I can see what they did previously. If I click on any of these units, so I click on the current one, I can also see a little bit more of a summary about what that unit entails and I get down to this bottom bit here and I can see some of the lessons that are being done. They call them lesson experiences here and I can click on say Opium Wars, have a look at what what was being asked. There was a task associated with that. I can drill down into that. There's so much you can actually go in and have a look at. You can look at the what your, your child is doing, um, what they have done, the work that they've submitted, and so on and so forth. The other thing I particularly like about this view is if I click on tasks, I can see how many tasks have been done during this term. And I can see exactly the dates. This is a calendar view, a really small calendar view. I can hover over and see. So I can see that one was submitted. I can see two have been handed in late and I can see that two are still pending. I can also click here and look at the grade distribution if there's any summative tasks. In this case, you can hover over here and see there's one summative task and we've done four formative tasks. And then if you hover over the actual bar graph here, you can see what the summative task was that they got an 8-4 or a 7-4. And you can also look at the results as well, or the achievement levels as we call them. Now remembering this is just for second term, so if you wanted to look at some of the tasks or results from first term, then you would come up to this drop down box here and you would just select first term. Okay, so if we keep scrolling down, we can see that we've got a couple more things down here. We've got personal project, which you can see a little summary of. Uh, you can see a little bit of a summary about services action, um, not too much information. And the other thing I'll just point out while I'm here is this little bell here with number 24 on it. And that shows that you've got some notifications. If you click on that, you can see what they are. In this case, there are a lot of notifications. You can actually change the amount of notifications that you get by clicking on this cog here and also decide, I'll click on that actually, and you can also decide on whether you want to get notifications via email as well. Um, actually, if I scroll right down to the bottom here, I can choose to get a, a parent digest, which is just a summary of your child's weekly activity, upcoming deadlines, events, and assessment tasks. That's pretty handy to, to get that, to see what they have submitted, what they haven't submitted over the past week. If we go now to portfolio and click on that, what portfolio is, is a timeline of everything that your child has submitted this year. And you can keep scrolling down. See, Laura's done a lot of work this year. Well done, Laura. And you can look at any of these tasks and drill down and find out more about them. One thing to say here, though, in terms of the portfolio, is that sometimes when students are in groups, the groups nominate one person to submit the task. So sometimes a task may not be submitted, but that might just be because somebody else in the group submitted that task. We do encourage all the students to submit the task, but sometimes 
that doesn't happen. Okay, underneath portfolio we have IB Parents Association and here we have a calendar when you first get here. You can see that we've got a uh, NYP assessment and manage back use information evening coming up along with a social event. The most important thing in the IB Parents Association section is this bit here under files. And if you go here, you can see you've got all sorts of very important documents from ISW, including the newsletters. If you click here, you can see they're archived from previous years and obviously the latest year in PDF format. Uh, you've got general documents, you've got the class represent parent, class representative meeting minutes, ISW policies, ISW presentations like uh, presentations about services action or the personal project or just generally what is the MYP. So we've, got, we've got all of those presentations there and we've got some information about manage back including the color coding chart if you're super interested in that. All right the next thing down is discussions. We don't tend to use that too much. We may use it more in the future, but more or less these are any, any discussions that the teacher has posted about the class and about the work throughout the year. If I click here on academic profile, this is where you will be able to access your child's report. So if you click on report, you can see that these are the archived reports for Laura, and you can click on any of these, and I'm not going to, um, but you can click on these and look at the PDFs. The other button here is behavior and discipline. I'm not going to click on this just for privacy reasons, but here you'll see any notes that the teacher might have made about your, your child. Maybe some might be positive, some might be um, some sort of incident that occurred in class or homework that hadn't been completed, things like that. You should get an email notification when they post a behavioral note, um, but you can see them all listed in here. The final, one of the final things I want to just quickly talk about is this little section here called guides and handbooks. Now, I will just highlight two things here that I think are really worthwhile having a look at, and this one is uh, the MYP personal project, and it's, a, it's not created by us, but it's created by someone for ManageBack. It's fantastic, gives you great insight into what the personal project is. And same here with uh, Services Action. Once again, a really, really insightful understanding of Services Action, which is something that all students have to do from MYP 1 to 5. The personal projects, of course, is for students in MYP 4 and 5. The final thing I will talk about is this little button here, which is, if you hover over it, it says Help and Support. If there's anything that you don't understand about Manage Back or you, you need help trying to work out what things mean or with navigation issues, I would really strongly recommend clicking on Help and Support. It is a fantastic resource that Manage Back actually create and all of the information here is, is really, really well organized and um, will really help your understanding of Manage Back. Okay, so that's about it. Obviously, if you have any other questions or issues or you'd like any help understanding Manage Back, I'm more than happy to help you. And I hope that this has been useful and that through using Manage Back, you can assist your child in their learning journey.